afternoon and welcome. Um, what I'm going to do today is talk about some gluing techniques or curing techniques, whatever you want to call it, to actually put the handle onto the pick that you have made. Now, two things, um, two different types of things that I use, um, well, I don't now, but I did at the beginning, is firstly, super glues. Um, they're easy to use, but they're, they can come in some Poundland cheap or maybe Harbour Freight if you're on the other side of the pond. Let me see if I can find a couple. Pop, 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 pop. Excuse me, rattling around. <laughs> okay, um, I used firstly this one, um, which comes with a brush. Um, so I brush that onto either the pick or the handle, normally the handle, um, and ended up clamping it together, um, and it stuck and it worked very well. The other one that I then got onto was the gel, you needed less of it. Um, you put dots every now and again instead of brushing it on, um, and that again work very well the reason you dot it on is because it's thicker and it spreads when you actually uh, clamp it together all very good and easier to use i felt than the resins that people and the more experienced pick makers were making or using but what happens the pick looks good the pick feels good but after a while it goes brittle and whether it be a wooden handle, a Korean handle, or whatever handle you're using, as you can see, hopefully, um, they come off when you're in the lock and you're, because they're brittle, they come off. Um, so that's my experience with super glues. Um, the reason I stuck with super glue for so long um, was one because I thought I knew more than everybody else, which I clearly don't. Um, and the other option is because I found it easier. You can't rush making a pick. It is a time-consuming project, and. I don't think some people realise how much time and effort goes into making it, whether it's the best pick in the world or whether it's the most fanciest or whether it's the most basic pick in the world. It still takes time, it still takes effort. Um, this one, for argument's sake, is just coloured lolly sticks. And it still took me time to make the pick, the metal part, and it still took me time to glue these on and shape them um, this beautiful pick looks so much better than the other pick but there's still time and effort that goes into every pick that's made and you've got to give it that time to get it right um, epoxies before I go off track this is my favourite epoxy um, by Arrow Dyke, but you'll get your own favourite. The other one that I use is Gorilla Epoxy. Now they're in two tubes, two two channels here. Um, one is the epoxy resin and one is a hardener. So what I do, when you first get them, they come with this nice snap-off paddle thing and something to mix it on. But once that's gone, I use a bit of silver foil and one of these cheap paddle brushes that you may get for your kids just for sticking glue and making paper mache or whatever the fucking case may be um, I mix it on that it's important that you mix both parts together um, if you don't what you find is it doesn't glue and cure right once you've applied it you've got everything straight and level please clamp it Please give it time to set. Please don't mess around with it. Please don't touch it. Please don't move it. Walk away. Start another project. Do whatever you want. Come back to it. 
you can't rush this like I tried to do with these okay you can't do that okay um, this is what I use in the UK um, I've also found some other cheaper glues in Lidl um, and they do them in Audi as well now um, these come in about depending where you go anything up to eight pound and um, the ones that I found in Lidl um, are $1.99 I haven't tried it out yet, but I am going to be trying them out, and there'll be another video where I compare the two, etc., etc., and hopefully in conjunction with Hillbilly or Rook Knight, maybe both of them, we can compare over the pond because I think they go to Harbour Freight and some other places that are like Audi and Lidl. But what I found was you've got this one, Rexon, never heard of them. Um, some of you probably have um, which is an ultra fast okay curing that is ultra fast curing and this one is super strong right so the red one super strong I don't know this for sure but this yellow one if you look at both sides of the tube they both look clearer and the reason I think that they're clearer is because it's a lot more like super glue. And I think that it may be more brittle, but as I say, we'll find that out when I do the video. Um, the other one, which is the Ultra Strong, as you can see, the two colours are different. Which is going to give you your longer curing time but your stronger finish so you're not going to get that brittle finish that i think you're going to get from this one the yellow one okay now the red one you can't see in the arrow diet because it's obviously not clear um this one looks very much like this one Two different colours so I think you're going to get the similar effect but as I say when I do the video um, we will actually find that out now it's up to you entirely um, I thought I was better than everybody else and I knew what I was doing and no one have noticed that I was using you know super glue because the finish looked good but in the long run don't ever rush making a pick um and make it personal to yourself and do it properly i will when i actually do the curing and do the setting and the lining up of the picks and the handles etc you'll actually see the clamps that you can get there are various clamps if you go onto my youtube channel and scroll through the other videos that i've got there i have actually covered clamps and other things already um, but it's important that i show you again and show you them in action um, instead of just talking with a clip with a still picture um hope you've enjoyed that it's been somewhat of a knowledgeable for you or of help to you um but hopefully i can get that covered for you in the next day or two um and hopefully uh we can get some input from the guys over the pond um as i know that they're keen to do it we've been talking about it on this uh forum that we have and uh, individual chats ourselves so it's important that you get that right because I think there's nothing worse than making a fantastic pick and that happens you know it comes off halfway through a pick um, not good um, so that's all for now I um, hope you've enjoyed it if you haven't well fuck it I can't do anything about it now um, but enjoy my videos if you don't let me know um if you do hit subscribe um i'm always up for ideas as to what i can put in the next one so all right take care love you lots bye